Hello, Mr. De Koning. I humbly request a cross-examination to what I believe is mathematical proof that Terran is Imba. I'm a diamond two-third and play the ZVT in an in-house tournament. My opponent is a superior player than I am. He's master's ranked. Therefore, my game plan was to cheese off three base Bane Bust, since one or two base would be obvious from early scout. And he always scouts early. He went fast 3cc with no units. I punished that hard with my Baneling bust. I brought him down to two SEVs with the supply reading 11 to 39 in my favor. I thought surely the sub can't lie. Yet I walked away with the L somehow. Is this not empirical proof that mules are Imba? If a Terran can go down to two workers and still win, what is the point of this game? Or do I just suck? With regards, Cheng Hoon. So his question is, is did the sub lie? Or is it just like the hips and they don't lie? Let's figure this out as uh, in the bottom right we have Mr. Chengun spawning as the Red Zerg player. And in the top left we have the Terran who is Tiu I think or Sian and is uh, Yu. So we uh, have a quick look to see what's... Alright, now this is a start. This is, <laughs> let, let, let's just look at this because there's a couple of things that happen here. I want to explain. First of all, the reason this happens is because the stop hotkey is the same as the hotkey for select larva. So when you select the larva or when you click the hatchery and you press the S hotkey, it selects larva and you can build a drone or an overlord, whatever. If you have all your drones selected, all of them will stop moving. This is not what I was interested in because when he does this, Okay, here we, here we go. Look at this. Okay. Look how he fixes this problem. Okay. Selects three in the middle. Two on the right. Two on the left. He has an optimal solution for this, for this problem. Now, this should be something that happens once every thousand games. But this guy, it probably happens so much to him. That he's figured, you know what? I need some, you know, I need an optimal solution for this. When this happens, I need to do something. This is a bit like, imagine you're working in an office, okay? And the guy next to you just starts peeing on his keyboard, which is weird already, right? That is an odd occurrence. You're new to the office. But then, then you're like, oh, holy crap, he's peeing on his keyboard. It's all gonna get dirty and his keyboard won't work anymore. As he's done, he just opens up his backpack, picks out a new keyboard and has like some, some wet wipes, cleans it up and he's good to go in like 20 seconds. That's basically what Cheng Hoon did here. He peed on his keyboard, but he does this so often that it's not even a surprise for him anymore. He knows that it's going to happen, you know, he can't contain himself. If you got to go, you got to go. That's what his uh, daddy always told him and he had to go, man. The keyboard is dirty, but bam, same model. But newer edition. That's Changun in a nutshell. So already up to a, a racing start here is our Zerg player. Follows up with a hatch. This is an early scout, by the way. He said he said, and he always scouts early. But this is this is freaking fast. Holy crap! What is this? Oh, he's playing CC first. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, then the the early scout doesn't make sense. I'm not sure. I think so. no. Actually, it still doesn't make sense. But don't matter. It don't matter. Pretty baby. Na, 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 na. I don't know the rest of the lyric. Um, but what, yeah, what are we looking at here? There's nothing really happening, is there? Cheng is just scouting around. You think he recognizes that this is this is a command center? It's like a minute faster. I'm always curious at what you know how we have the for a long time we had the mirror test for animals. So when you wanted to figure out if an animal is is self-conscious we'd show him a mirror or her a mirror and if the if the animal would realize that it's a mirror image we'd be like self-conscious i feel like we need a test like this for zerg players where we can figure out if they have positive or negative iq um 
by by showing them different command center timings. Like here, this is definitely a command center first, but I'm not sure if this guy is aware of that. He might just look at this and think, oh, this is a command center, and then just go back home. Just like if you show like a, a hamster himself in the mirror, the hamster will go, this is a hamster in the mirror, and then piss off back, like they're running the wheel. Why do hamsters do that? That, now that is, that is a good way to generate some electricity. And I know people have suggested this before, but I think there is some future in that. Um, okay, speed, extractor, queens. It's all looking solid, like nothing, nothing weird going on here. He gets four links because he's like, oh, there's a fast command center. I bet there's also a reaper coming quickly to my side. It's not completely wrong, but this reaper is about uh, I really wonder if he knows. I don't actually care about the rest of the game. I think I'm gonna send this guy an email and ask him if he realized that I will CC first. I'm so curious now. The rest of the game can kind of suck it. Oh, that was good blocking. Could have built the extractor a bit faster, but you know, I don't even mind this. I, it's just all good. It's playable, it's playable. You just take this as your third. I like that he said that he didn't want to do it from one or two base because that would be too obvious. And now he's actually doing it from two base. Like, his third base is legit a minute, a minute late. He's at least pretending hard. Come on, take the extractor for the love of God. Thank you. Marine scouts this third. Like the Terran definitely knows something is up. Like he just started walling. He's like, oh, no third base. This is Eric thought he was so smart. He's like, oh, no, I fake a third base. He's a, he's a, he's a German. Very sassy German as well. I fake the third base. And then I send the links across the map. There's no way he will realize. It's, I mispronounced that on purpose. To mimic a German. That wasn't my own mistake. Okay, third CC. He has a starport. He's getting some cars going as well. <laughs> I also love it when they do that. Pop up, pop in, pop out. Like some secret method of transportation. Always reminds me of Harry Potter when they flush themselves down the toilet. Except it's a bunker. So it's less nasty. Yeah, this looks really bad for the Terran. I have to admit. So this goes in as well. They get the when it. They say when it rains, it pours, and these buckets. It's raining buckets right now, guys. Three links killing every single worker. This game is actually over. This is this game is actually over. I, I love that he builds more links as well. I think usually that's not that great because you actually want to go into drones, but in this case, like this game is actually over. Like you can't lose anymore. It's literally impossible to lose at this point. <clears throat> Right? Oh no. I love that he's like, you know what really has the priority here? This starport. It's like two cars like shooting at him. He's like, you know, I bet that the, the medevac or the viking that pops out of here will have a bigger impact on this game. Rather than the two cars absolutely roasting my links. This is this is some solid prioritizing from our Zerg player here. Oh no, and the, the medevac. What the heck? Okay, we have three three workers. I think he said he went down to two workers, right? Okay, builds ten more links. I love it. So right now he has a lead of 20 workers. His opponent has three units left. So the opponent, all the opponent needs to do is micro these three units. So the entire focus of this Terran player will be on that. Now it's five workers already. 14 more workers, or 12 more links, 14 more links. And now this might sound dumb, but if he continues attacking, I can see how he will lose. Because you're not supposed to keep attacking now. What you should be doing is you just drone up. You have what, two queens? Getting a third queen? You could legit just go up to like 45, 50 workers, get like five queens at home, and then you can start attacking again once your opponent tries to start your th their third base or something. like. There's no extra barracks. Their stim is going to finish at like like legit 18 minutes into the game. He's still building bunkers. Now I love to see where he's gonna go. Oh. Nice, baby. 
<laughs> this is okay. This is some, some A class decision making. Okay, I don't even mind that he fills the bailing bus. This is that that is that is something that I can live with. But then the the follow up here. Okay, so he has it's eight, nine, eight banelings. Counting remains difficult for me. Eight banelings. You can just right click this thing and it will blow up. Okay, instead the links will block him for feels like infinity yeah. and then yeah the repair goes off and nothing happens then he sees this happen okay he sees okay massive wall there's like a starport a command center a barracks and a depot like this is going to take legit like 14 15 banelings to blow up his response after seeing a solid wall with three hellions parked behind it <laughs> 18 more links how does this make any sense? He's, a, he's working off a single gas. Okay, imagine you have a massive concrete wall, okay? You have a massive, massive concrete wall. And, and you just used three trucks. In this analogy, the truck is the bane. You just used three trucks to try and break this concrete wall. Your trucks, they get very close. But in the end, the trucks don't make it. They explode. Then your follow-up plan is, is to round up all the men of the nearby village and start running headfirst into the concrete wall to try and break it. This might sound like a good idea, but let me tell you, my friend, it is not. These villagers could be used better, for example, to mine minerals from a nearby mineral mine or to get some of that Vespine gas. But no, 18 more links. You love to see it. I feel like we're getting closer and closer to the answer on the question whether my man here has negative or positive IQ. Did I lower the game speed too much? Yes, I did. Six more Bane links. Now we're talking. He's making trucks again, guys. Because last time it didn't work with eight, and now six, now that all buildings are fully repaired, definitely is going to be the play. He just keeps building links. So he was 21 workers against 3, now he's 21 against 21, and he's playing against triple CC, so triple mule. Does he not realize that Terran can repair? Like... Does he actually think this will work? There's no way, right? Oh, this is in the wall! Oh no! I didn't even realize. I thought it was full. Even at this point though, it's completely okay. He can literally lose every single unit and be fine. And these cars will just, yeah. Nice. Little did the man know that once he breaks down the wall, there's guys with flamethrowers. <laughs> oh no. What a painful episode this is. What a painful episode. I love that he could, I love the dedication to this push though, you know, the complete lack of transition. That's, it's great to see. Very often you see people not as dedicated to a case as, as this guy, as my man Chang Wun here, you know, he gets things done. Um, sure, it's not the right things, but at least things are getting done. If he was a politician, he, he would have a very weird list of things to brag with, right? Like, usually, usually politicians, what do they have? They have like, like, we helped create this road. We built another school. I mean, Chang will have like a swimming pool for, for rats or something like that. Or he'll, he'll make like a duck pond, but put it on the top of an apartment building where the ducks can't reach. Like, he's like a bunch of very weird achievements and then confused that no one votes for him for a second term. You'd make an awful mayor of a city, Chang Un. But, uh... <laughs> I love that he went for the starport first. He was like, he's, he's like, has some potential there, guys. He's, I have a feel, I have a good feeling about that starport there, dude. I, you know, that starport, I think, might just be it. Um, yeah, uh, he's, just, he's just getting blasted. My man here isn't even really driving the cars around too well, but that's a good. That was a, that was a hot pickup. Is what we call that. If I say it when I'm moving to the microphone, you know it's real. 
14 workers at this point. So our worker count now is uh, decreasing as well. Send a couple more links, try and get the third base. No, not quite. Now the repairman coming out, flamethrower boy is still doing well. 10 more links, because the past 1200 have done so well. How many has he lost actually? Pause it here. I'm gonna guess 126. Write in the comments what you thought before you you checked it. If you have it correct, it doesn't count because then you cheated. It was 152. Holy crap. 152. That's a lot of links. I'm impressed. That's very impressive. And I think really the only 30, 40 links did something, which means after that he wasted 110 links, which equals about 50 drones, well, a bit more even. 55 drones. The drones that could have been, but weren't. That is just great. This, uh, this, is, this is truly showing uh, what money in the wrong places can do. It's a, a very powerful army, but weak home infrastructure and no healthcare. Um, see barracks being constructed back at home. I like that the Terran as well just realize, okay, my opponent actually isn't self-aware. He would not pass the mirror test. Um, let me just rewall this. I don't need extra barracks. I just need cars and a wall. Yes, this this was great. Now, let, let's read one more time. I humbly request a cross-examination to what I believe is mathematical proof that Terran is Imba. I have to admit, my friend, I, I don't think this was very imbalanced. Your first bailing bus did fantastic. Then you just kept throwing links and links and more links and more links into a wall, uh, which, was, which was defended by Hellion behind it. You bailing busted wrong buildings like 12 times in a row. Sometimes splitting up the banelings between different buildings as well in the end, like awful link micro, uh, prioritizing a starport over Hellions while you were in his base, and then just no follow like no follow up, a follow up that made absolutely zero sense. You would be the worst politician in the world. And I'd like to tell you, my friend, that you suck QED. All right, my dudes, that's going to be it for this episode of Is It Imba or Do I Suck? If you did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as it really does help me a lot. Don't forget to smash the like button as well. I can't do that too many times or my table might break with this much power in my fist. Um, yeah, I'll see you all next time for more stuff. Bye-bye.